Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear students, how are you doing? Hope having a good time. Yes, welcome to part 5, Capitalization Rules. Today we're going to start uh, rule number 17, 18, 19 and, and onward. Capitalization chapter is going on and, uh, you know, in my last video we discussed all about, um, you know, abbreviations and then acronyms. So, 16 rules have been discussed and today we're going to start with rule number 17 and this is emphatic words. Well, this is very interesting, like emphatic words, I remember students, uh, uh, it is it is really having very important role um, you know when you write something and when you are emphasizing something particular in a sentence and then you are uh, you know writing that word or that particular even group of words or maybe even it could be even a sentence as well so emphatic words or maybe it can be a word as well let's talk uh, where this capitalization rule you know functions for example look at first of all let's have a quick definition of emphatic words uh, when something is emphatic yeah when something is emphasized in a sentence or any word it could be a word it could be even two words or three words or whatever the case is when something is emphatic so it imparts emphasis right it gives you know like pretty stress on that particular area of the sentence there a sentence is made emphatic by adding an exclamation point yes when you are writing emphatic sentence so at the end we always you know uh, just put a sign of exclamation and the word carries with it the important and urgent feeling of that punctuation mark uh, especially whenever you're writing emphatic word or emphatic sentence at the end of the sentence we always have a sign of exclamation so what is emphatic word or emphatic words remember students whenever you are emphasizing and when you are applying you know extra stress or extra pressure on that particular area of the sentence to bring the attention of the reader that the reader should give proper attention to that particular area of the sentence so then we can use this sort of rule and then we always capitalize that area of the sentence it might be a single word it might be even two words or even it can be you know full full sentence as well let's take the example I'm sure that example will give you more clear idea for example simple sentence okay he passed away right if i say he passed away okay job done like there's no no special feelings right but you know with no expression no stress you know okay and it's just a stress-free sentence but if in case i want to you know like bring the reader's attention and i say he passed away now look this is something that very different can you can you like you know see the difference like there are two different sentences one is without any expression you know it's simple very simple sentence he passed away and the other sentence is he passed away now look two different sentences are there how can you differentiate these two sentences one with without expression second one is with expression full of expressions now how can you write both the sentences now see this you know capitalization rule is playing big role and big drama here when you apply capitalization rule so your sentence is very different and it is giving very extraordinary meaning for example simple sentence he passed away you see all capital all all small except h because this is the no starting of the sentence there and it is full stop it's a simple sentence but if i want to stress you know and if i bring more expression for example he passed away he passed away right now look there at the end sign of exclamation and all capital now this sentence is with a high pitch or full of expressions right no and then at the end we are having sign of exclamation let's take one more example you know examples will make the things more clear for example look at here now another sentence guys you might have seen you know when you're um, uh, having board exams when you're you know appearing in any uh, board paper so look do not use mobile now this is very simple do not use mobile 
right okay very simple sentence do not use mobile but if i say do not use mobile now i am stressing the word not and i'm bringing the strong attention of the reader and i'm telling that okay do not use mobile there so how can we express and how can we you know you know like just feel this thing to the other person then we'll have to apply again the capitalization rule and here look do not use mobile and then this not all capital and then at the end again there is you know sign of exclamation which makes it more emphatic which makes it like a kind of expression here and here here, this is imparting different meaning while this sentence is having no no special tone and this is very simple sentence this sentence is having high pitch and more stress on the word not so we always make it capital you you know I'm, I'm, I'm sure that you will see you know in many cases capitalized words and those words are not even proper nouns name of person name of place and this and that still their capital and but you know at the end we're having sign of exclamation so this is you know making it different you know from all the cases guys let's have one more example mm. uh, I'm sure that uh, you, you know you must have noticed uh, when you're attempting any paper right and uh, there they say uh, answer three questions only and then look this sentence answer three questions only and three all capital this is again bringing special attention right and this is again giving you you know uh, alert that be careful three questions only so this is you know again like you know uh, the rule of capitalization and whenever you want to make it very different and very special then you will have to go with the capitalization rules anyway let's have another example oh when you're when you're you know like chatting with someone fine and then you're writing hello ali you know very simple hello ali and then ali doesn't reply and then you again write hello ali ali doesn't reply and then you say hello ali and then you know you write all capital it's again a special expression is there and then you know again you're uh, you know applying extra stress on your sentence so you calling him hello where are you so this is what again you know all capital and then at the end we're having sign of exclamation guys remember capitalization is playing big role in your english language let's have you know last example uh, and i'm sure that this example is very common in ielts right and uh, even ielts um, books yes i will i will show you now uh, example from ielts book as well here uh, for example simple sentences there now right no more than three words for each answer right this is okay very simple sentence but guys look at here now now this sentence is very special right no more than three words all capital and then this is again small here so this is something that uh, you know in ielts uh, even listening and reading section i'm sure that you must have uh, you know read this sort of sentence and they all you know capitalize and you can also see the example uh, on the screen uh, this is one of the examples from the cambridge book that um, you can see that uh, you know all this is capitalized now uh, this is the next sentence fine now let's have another rule rule number 18 students all names of subjects all names of subject now there is one exceptional case that you need to understand remember physics chemistry biology you know even maths urdu and even you know whatever the the, the subject name is but but there is one big exceptional case Exceptional case is that all names of subjects will be written small in lower case, right? Except the languages. If you write a language name, for example, Urdu, Urdu is a language, English is a language, right? For example, um, let's take the example of even, you know, Arabic. Let's take the example of even, you know, like Persian. So they are, you know, even Spanish, you know, so these are basically uh, languages. So they are always written, you know, when uh, in capital mood. Otherwise, all the subjects will be written small. Please have the example here. I passed my English paper. Now look at here. What do you think? This is now a proper subject, but this is uh, this is a language, right? So English e is capital. So this is correct. But if you write, you know, I passed my English paper here and e is small. This is incorrect. If I okay, if I say, can you please help me in my Urdu papers? Urdu. Now this is a subject, but this is you know the 
uh, this is even the you know language as well right so again this is correct and then if you go with Urdu you small this is again a problem and this is again incorrect let's take another example guys um, the names of uh, academic disciplines this is what very big exceptional case okay the names of academic disciplines or majors and even minors or even general subjects are not proper nouns and should not be capitalized for example chemistry biology maths algebra this that you know all these subjects are not proper and they must not be written uh, you know in upper cases right they're always written in lower cases ah yes there is one exceptional case which I'm going to discuss it later or in my next slide for example first of all see the example here his major is English so OTE is capital because this is a subject as well as this is a language but if I say his major is engineering now engineering this is okay E must be small it must not be capital because this is not a language this is only a subject yeah his major is engineering, E is capital, it is completely wrong. He is studying sociology, okay, S is small because this is, you know, a common noun and this is like, you know, uh, okay, simple subject. But if you're writing sociology as capital, again, this is wrong. Guys, uh, uh, there are, you know, like a few, yes, if in case, if in case they are, you know, like having proper, proper meaning. For example, the names of specific courses are always capitalized. Uh, for example, look, algebra. Now, algebra, okay, if I write algebra, so A is always, you know, small. But if I say algebra 1, algebra 2, algebra 3, so if I'm making it like something special, then algebra A must be capital and then 1. For if I say sociology, so only sociology sociology is always small but if you're making it proper for example introduction to sociology then this sociology must be capital there let's take Another very, you know, uh, uh, big exceptional case. Uh, academic degrees are capitalized only when the full name of the degree is used. If I say, for example, um, arts, right? So A is always small. Fine. If I say, for example, uh, science, so this is always small. But if I say, you know, Bachelor of Arts, then this is okay. B capital and Arts A capital. And then Master of Engineering. Look, you know, if you say engineering only, so engineering is small, always small. But if I say Master of Engineering, then you can write, okay, Master M and E must be capitalized guys uh, you know like uh, rules today they will discuss so this is what uh, rule number 17 and 18 I hope you understood these two more rules inshallah in my upcoming video in part 6 I'm going to bring more rules of capitalization I hope you understood these things and you found them more rich now please enrich your writing skills and use all these rules of capitalization have a very nice day, have a very nice time, take very good care of yourself students, inshallah, see you next time with another very informative video, goodbye, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.